When I was a kid, beer pairing was pale pilsen and isang platitong mani, crackers slathered with liver spread, and, and fish balls. But Jim Araneta's bottle shop brand new here at the BGC is considerably more sophisticated. And it's just as satisfying. But the pulutan here, it's called pink sauce. For any average Filipino yeah. drinker, yeah. we all started with pale pilsen. Yep. Then somewhere along the way, we discovered super dry. And, yeah. and back in the day, these were the beers, maybe including for my grandmother, Sir yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how we grew up. We had a very, very limited choice of beers, mm -hmm. but not anymore. No more. If you look Change, behind yeah. me, we have around, what, 75 oh, beers? Close to 100. Close to 100 yeah, different yeah. bottles from yes, all over the world. I'm getting thirsty. Okay, so okay. ready? I'm ready. For the first one. Right. I want us to, to, to try the spectrum of craft beer. The spectrum of craft beer. So the way beer. we go is you always start with something lighter. Okay. And then move up, move up to something more aggressive. I right? will leave myself in your very capable hands. So we do that with our customers as well. All right. You know, we want, to, we want them to learn about mm -hmm. craft beer when they come in, they don't feel intimidated. And they can come here. It's 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 a it's a good so, adventure. The first beer we're having is a beer from San Jose, California. Okay. It's a Gordon Beer Hefeweizen. Okay. So Hefeweizens are basically wheat beers. Mm -hmm. Are wheat beers? Uh, a lot of people consider them sweet. They're sweet. Yeah. Right. So there's basically two types of wheat beers. Mm -hmm. One from Germany, mm -hmm. which is more fruity like banana. Mm -hmm. And if you go for a Belgian style, it's more citrusy and coriander. So what we're trying now is a German style wheat beer. Okay. From California. And let me pour this thing, so. We'll start off gently. Gently, so this is about a little over 5% alcohol. You enjoy it like a wine. Do I swirl it first? So I... First you look at it. Okay. First you look at it. All right. And then, and then you, Taking that aroma. Can you smell something? Can you smell the fruit in this? I, I, I have to do. What fruit are you getting in this? Pineapple. Pineapple, banana? Yeah, it's tropical. It's so. Very tropical. So yeah. this, this is the perfect thirst quencher mm. in a tropical country. Wheat beers are always nice for perfect for quenching thirst. Okay. Yeah. Shall we? And we're gonna pair it, huh? Right. So, gonna, uh, you know? so the beer uh, is a very tropical beer. It's a wheat it's beer. It's tropical, sweet. right? Basically, wheat is nice, refreshing, easy drinking, low IBU, which means international bitterness units. That's great. Yeah, see it? So it's not that bitter, friendly. Yeah, okay. So what do we so, pair it with? So we're pairing it with crab meat, with shrimp, and some paprika. It's called chatka. Chatka, how chatka. do you spell that? So C-H-A-T-K-A. -A. Mm -hmm. So it's crab meat, shrimp, paprika, light stuff with a lighter beer. You know, we're here in the bottle shop, we're all about the beer, mm -hmm. but we're complementing with dishes that go well with it. So it's a, it's a nice pairing. Mm. Then take a, take a sip of your beer with that, it should go well. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is like a good mm. tropical breakfast. Mm -hmm. What's your next beer? Next, we'll do a beer from Rogue Ales in okay. Oregon. No? It's called a hazelnut. There's hazelnut? Okay. Brown nectar. Mm -hmm. Nothing too high in alcohol. About 6% alcohol. A little bit more bitter than the first one. But I think it'll go well with, with this dish. And this one is? This so this sauce. dish is jamon alioli. Okay. So it's jamon serrano with alioli and parsley. That sounds good. Okay, so look at this, different color, it's a different color, it's, mm. you know, a little darker. Right, even Real. the head's a bit more yellow and now. And they put right. hazelnut in this during okay. the food process, so you really have ha Oregon hazelnut in this So beer. We'll, we'll be looking for hazelnut flavor complementing uh, the... Yes, a little sweet. The savory uh, ham. Right. Slight bitterness, which, mm. which, which will cover the, which will complement the savory, okay. this savory dish. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Nice. It's in the nose and in the finish. Huh? It's nutty. You don't have to be a connoisseur. You get yeah. it right away. Right. The aroma nose is there. It's though. a very friendly beer. It's friendly. Right. Nothing too aggressive again, mm -hmm. but totally different from the first one. Mm -hmm. So this is hamon chopped up. Hamon, hamon chopped up with, uh, with parsley and uh, oh, wow. alioli. Mm -hmm. alioli. I was uh, concerned that the bread might be too crusty. It might be too hard. You don't want that, yeah. Right, you don't yeah, want that pinchos, when you're you having this. Yeah, right? You don't want it too toasty, uh -huh. yeah. So some guests will ask, can we have toast? That, mm. Okay, upon, uh, uh, upon request, but mm. really, we don't want to toast the, the bread that much. Then I just take a sip. Mm -hmm. We're going to try something local now. So something by way of Cebu. Okay. It's called a People Power Pale Ale. About 6% alcohol. This is about 40 plus IBU. A little bit more bitter, nice and crisp. Okay. It will go well with huevos con chorizo. Okay. Chorizo con huevos. So these are very healthy. Fried quail legs. <laughs> and chorizo. And a beautiful piece of chorizo. chorizo yeah. Okay. Let's pour. Ooh. There you go. So, there. You know? 
No, this more. smells a bit different. The, the, the room was a sense. I'm getting more citrus notes this on this. No? Like you know what it idea. smells like to me? It's like uh, when you when you pop open a can yeah. of orange soda, yeah. you leave it in your freezer, yeah, and then you smell day, it the day after, yeah, yeah. and that's exactly that's how it, it smells that's like. That's what I'm trying to get right. here, you know? Yeah, that's what exciting. That's what's exciting. There's a story to every beer you open. It's a lot more bitter now. Yeah. Right? And it's, it lingers a bit, mm -hmm. no? Wait till the oh, yeah, IPA. There's a, the it stays a bit. Right. The IPA will even, will even linger longer. There's a very pleasant aftertaste now. So now I'm really not inclined to gulp this. Yeah, yeah. Because I just want to appreciate everything. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of thing that to, yeah. to what I'm tasting now. Mm. Don't forget the uh, chorizos con huevo. Okay. You know what? So now you've got a little bit of a... Yeah, so you want to counter... It's not yeah. necessarily a compliment. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. it, you're countering taste yeah. and flavors so something now. a little oily, this will complement the crispness of the, of the beer. How do you come up with these pairings? You know, by practice makes perfect, mm -hmm. basically. You know, because they just work. You know, basically, right. if you look at the books, you talk to people, they're saying, "Oh, start with easy, mm. and then move up." Books work, but complement it with actually, actually trying it. So when I was a young food journalist, barely starting out, of course, I was into wines, and then I met. Rami Sia of Wine Story, and he introduced me to how wonderful the world of wine could be. 